ironic, we were just talking about weight loss. These yep. two don't go hand in hand. <laughs> Today's dish presented by Stone Academy. Go and indulge in a little bit of sweet tooth today. Because? It is National Chocolate Chip Day. This is a great story. Chocolate chip cookies were credited to Ruth Graves Wakefield. The Massachusetts woman was a Toll House Inn employee back in 1937 when one day she decided to put chopped up pieces of chocolate from a Nestle's bar into the cookie recipe. And the rest is history. And as there they you say. go. She didn't get any royalties or anything no. like that. She just got chocolate for a lifetime from Nestle's. Hey, I, that, that's I think better than royalties, right? <laughs> Make some noise here in the studio if you agree. Yeah, all right. All seven of you agree. That's good. I, it's funny. That's like my guilty pleasure at, Chocolate at home. Chocolate chip cookies we or the have, dough? No, the, well, the dough too, but we have the bag of Toll House, and I just open it up every once in a while and pour out you know, a little bit into my hand. Just That's like the best dessert. They're pretty good yeah. on ice cream, on just about anything. T today we'll celebrate, I guess, right? Sounds good. All right, Will Smith is now opening up about tax troubles with the IRS he had, which led him to take on the iconic Fresh Prince of Bel-Air role. So it all worked out for him. Smith <laughs> said that back in the late 80s, he spent a lot of his money from his hit song, Parents Just Don't Understand. And Smith's girlfriend said that he should go hang out around the Arsenio Hall show, the studio there, to meet some influential people. Well, the way the story goes, he ended up doing an impromptu audition for TV execs at Quincy Jones's house, which then launched him into becoming the superstar actor that he is today. So there you have it. Was I, Jada I Pinkett his girlfriend? You gave him the good advice, uh, I wonder? They said at the time. At so the time. I don't we think don't that know. was the case. But what's your favorite Will, Sm Will Smith song of all time? Is it Miami getting jiggy? Well, I like the it? Wild Wild West song. Wild Wild West. <laughs> I'm going with the, how, how about Fresh Prince? I'm assuming you watched that back in the day. I know the theme song very well. well. In West Philadelphia, the... born and raised. Okay. On the playground is where I had most of my days. Chilling out back and relaxing all cool and all shooting some people outside of the school. What? Not what? doing it anymore. A couple but of guys. I think that we all got. You know it too. I thought you were too. Too young. Oh, come on. I got in one little fight. My mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Boom. No that, more. Let's was, go. Let's that's go. That's the end of the show. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Nailed it. There it is. Okay, let's transition from Will Smith lyrics to the royal wedding, shall we? Because we all know that's what I you're think I'm going to wake up. It's, I've been going back and forth. My sleep is so, you know, I value it so much. But Out I'm going to wake up. Well, it's Saturday I morning. I think it's all kicking off at 5 a.m. here mm -hmm. in the U.S. Uh, every day there are more details being released. It's getting released. exciting. You have to admit you're getting a little bit excited. I know. You just hit me. That's how excited <laughs> you are for that. So here is the procession of the royal wedding. As you can see here, this is the map. It's about a two-mile runaround of where their carriage is going to go, and they're going to take this ride after they're actually uh, married, and then they're going to return to the church. So. Um, it's if just you like do, my wedding day around, oh, come on. around the green in Waterbury, Stop. Connecticut. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Same idea, right? <laughs> Cinderella over here. Yes, of course, that's just exactly kidding. what happened. Now, if you do plan on waking up early like Teresa this Saturday, you can catch the magic. GMA is having special coverage of the royal wedding from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., and we're also going to be streaming the entire thing on our News 8 app. Uh, so make sure that you head on over there and watch. It is going to be a big day. I, I've become a huge Meghan Markle fan. Yeah, fanatic, a lot of history yeah. with the royals and who's next in line and how that all works. Fascinating stuff. We will have to wait to find out to yep. see uh, all the fun. All right, so do you want to save some money and enjoy a ball game? Just ride your bike to Dunkin' Donuts Park. That's There's all you got to do. There's the solution. Right? <laughs> so this is a little interesting. As part of Drive Less Connecticut Month, if you ride your bike, to the Yard Goats game this Thursday, you're going to get a free ticket to the game. The first 50 bike riders get in for free, and the gates open at 6 o'clock. First pitch is set for 7.05. But you were just saying... How, how are you going to get? You're going to go 84, 91? You're right. So, Maybe bring your bike and then park it, drive it see the, to the that's stadium? That's a smart idea. Now you're going to have all these people swindling the system. But it's here. only the first 50, so you have to do it quickly okay. and be first in line. You're, with your bike. You're very, uh, you're cunning over here, you know? <laughs> you and your saying. little, you got tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> All right, big thanks to Joanne, who sent us these pictures of a bear kicking back and relaxing on a nice sunny day. It was last week, all in her backyard in Plainville. Oh my goodness, Check he's in the hammock or on the swing set. Yeah, so the bear just used it as a hammock, <laughs> uh, and Joanne says that the photos have been shared hundreds of times on Facebook. It's still one of the most popular things on our website. Carrie wrote, one of our viewers, uh, somebody needs to get that bear a drink. And then Dennis <laughs> wrote, I guess you can call this a jungle gym. But a bump. Good one. Hey. <laughs>